in Kotimo fencing. So they get do on community secondary school. Yeah. Secondary school, yeah. The mom baby for me see. They come on me low. So the at at in in at in no 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 ra. They go pay one two three pay me only pay one two no one do yeah. They get be a two three answer quick quick you buy it down. But don't go there that one. So they are using new to new community to move to Shagbara to secondary school, yeah. That was July 2017 when the crew of Lagos Community Update visited one of the habitant islands in Lagos State. Our mission was to showcase the good work of Ituago Community Development Association through its self-help projects. A school, to be precise, is the major course. The importance of education as the bedrock of our developmental society is in tandem with the entire people of Ituaga community. And the proposal, when the opportunity came to meet with Governor Akiwumi Ambadi. Four months after our crew visited the community to hear the plight, for development, the leadership of the CDA met with Mr. Governor at the monthly town hall meeting held at Koshofe local government area in October. Koshofe town hall meeting, I was privileged to be able to hear my view at the Governor, His Excellency. He really gave a listing here to me. And he gave his directive on that particular day at the town hall, Koshofe town hall meeting that the school has been taken over, that the state government, Minister of Education, should start from that immediately. Like a lightning of a thunder strike, the news of Governor Ambadi's approval of government taking ownership of the community junior grammar school immediately got the ears of members of its Wangan community and it was a joy in the hair. When I got home, even from here, when people heard that I was able to hear our people, so they start calling my land. And when I got home, I went to the ballet director that this is it, this breakthrough that governor has ordered or has directed that they should take over our school and save our children from dying. So it was a big jubilation. So since then, it has been so. We don't want to do it locally with us there. That's why we put it in black and white to appreciate the state government and the governor himself for doing that for us. When my chairman, the CDA chairman, brought the news to us, we are so happy. I mean, the atmosphere in it will change automatically. And when we say it, there is a need for us to appreciate our, uh, His Excellency Governor Ambodi Akiwomi for making that pronouncement a law that the school have been approved. So we have to write this letter to appreciate him, to say thank you for what you have done for us. Without leaving any stone unturned, the coordinator of Ituagon Community Junior Grammar School, Mr. Ediosa Sylvester, made it return visits to all major state officials that would make their dream actualized. The leadership of the CDA can't wait for governor's pronouncement to come to reality. We have been meeting, we are writing a written series of letters of which we have submitted to the state government office and the Ministry of Education and we have been doing follow up for it. Since after that uh, town hall meeting, we are written other letters and we are following the, even today, today we were here in this uh, sectorial in respect of the following up of the letters that they ask us to write. With children dominating the population of the community, it will be unfair on the side of the leadership of the CDA not to ensure free and proper education as preached by the Lagos State Government. When we say that our children are also taking the risk of crossing the water and a lot of things do happen. So with this, this what prompts us to say okay, since these children they are the citizens of Lagos State, and they have the same right for the free education. And in order for us to encourage our children and their parents, because a parent that have two children, three, how will they be able to pay for 
pay school fees. So the commissioner decided to make it free. If the children did not have education, they may end up to become pipeline fertilizers. They will end up to become sea parties. You know we are close to the sea. So let us all come together and give them education. Since October 2017, after town hall meeting, the name Akiumi Ambade has another meaning to the people of Ituago. I want to say thanks to His Excellency Governor Ambade for the good thing. At least making that pronouncement alone is something for me. I know it's a man, I cannot call him talking I do, a man of action. Akiumi Ambade of Lagos. Coming to the education area, I've seen his part, his impact. Then there's a time I traveled towards a fair area. I couldn't even believe that is Lagos again. The places we used to go and be afraid of how the traffic, how the road will look. We went freely that day. I was telling, ah, thank God for somebody. I have seen his work and I pray God of heaven to crown his effort, to give him more strength, to meet his desire. You know, when somebody has good desire, God will first of all see your desire, your motive, your mind towards this is of good. When God sees it is good, he will back it. So I pray God of heaven to back his effort. I am not a politician, I am a pastor. But if one is good, we say it's good. We see his part in Lagos State. The desire to make Lagos State mega city, we see it and it's working towards it. Thank you.